Notion's task management is actually quite powerful. Do you wonder why an integrated calendar or any other calendar app that you find on your phone, your tablet or your PC cannot manage this? Stick around and you will know why. What's up achievers? This is Morley. I'm here to help you improve your life using productivity tips and tools. If that's of interest to you, you're in the right place. Do me a quick favor and hit subscribe so that you don't miss on any other tips and tools I may bring your way. I just wanted to reiterate that this is not a sponsored video. Today we continue our Notion database series. Notion task management is actually quite powerful. Notion offers an infinite hierarchy for pages and information. It supports databases to go beyond the traditional time management tool to handle projects, for example, and offers a ton of templates and database features with the ability to create a relational database, linked databases, and rolled up databases, and formulate to make the entire experience extremely flexible. For those of you who are new to Notion, Notion is an all-in-one workspace that's powerful enough to become the central nervous system for all of your work. Like the nervous system, Notion allows you to connect ideas between the branches. Tasks don't often stay as isolated tasks. They have to be broken down, tracked, reviewed, nested, rolled up, and might be projects often listed as tasks. Traditional task management software has only one view. The best way they pass on the buck back to you is by providing a calendar integration, a week view, and a month view. Let me show you how I've configured Notion that addresses these issues and more. The primary start point for capturing these tasks resides in my task database. My tasks are principally divided into four pillars. My work, my business, my personal well-being, and of course, my family. Each pillar has different parts that require attention. As an author, my current book requires attention. My business requires attention. My bills need to be paid. And of course, my YouTube channel requires constant attention. So tasks are bucketed along those lines. I also need to capture the importance of that activity and the effort it may take. Accordingly, I need to prioritize for the things to do today, the things to do for the week and the month of with due consideration to the due date. Sometimes I need to collaborate with somebody. Again, some items are recurring tasks and some are one time. So all of this goes down to one ask. What is the priority which I need to handle these tasks with? And how do I track the completeness? For both of these, I have formulae. Priority is assigned as a basis of a set of rules regarding a combination of importance and effort. Similarly, completion is based on my understanding of completion percentages. For simple tasks, I may just consider 0 or 100. Simple tasks could be paying your electricity bill, your phone bill, but sometimes it gets complicated. For example, like writing a new chapter for my book. Again, I like customizing my tasks into weeks with due consideration for overdue. Tasks due today, tomorrow, this week, and sometimes in the future. You'll notice how I have some columns going from January to December. You'll soon get to see what this is for. Now this is my engine room and I don't want to be making frequent trips back to the engine room. So let's now go to my home page where I will show you what you get on a day-to-day -day basis. Notion works really well on a concept of linked databases. The way you create a linked database in any page is with a slash followed by the word link. You will see a pop-up menu and see select link databases. From the menu, you can select your desired database. But if you don't see it, simply type in the partial name of the database and your database will be shortlisted in that set of options. Now select your database and a link to the original master database is now created. Now this doesn't sound like much, but now you can configure this with a view that suits you. So on my homepage, I have four toggles, today's tasks, the calendar view, a weekly view, and a habit tracker. I use a toggle for two reasons. 
I can fold the info away so that my home page looks clean. And two, I can assign the toggle to a color. My today's tasks is a filtered database that contains only the task, the priority, the day it is due, the due date, the percentage completed, who is responsible for it, and the progress bar. So it's a tidy database filtered for tasks due before today, today, and for tomorrow. It's sorted by the due date and priority. The calendar view is an at-a-glance view which shows me when the tasks are due. I can conveniently drag the tasks if they are overdue. I can also visualize my day, my week and my month. I can also see today's date circled in red to give me full visibility along with a progress bar. The area it relates to, the priority and whether it's a recurring task or a one-time task. My weekly view are divided into dashboards, overdue tasks, which is a Kanban kind of a view. You can create this by adding a view divided by area. Number two, my today Kanban view divided by area. This is filtered to one-time tasks and not completed. Number three, my recurring tasks broken down in Kanban. The view is one time, daily, weekly, weekends, fortnightly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly and annual. Just remember that if you open the task, it becomes its own page. And you can customize this even further to any extent and it could become a set of multiple pages in itself. Number four, you have another view, the future task board view. This is again a Kanban view by area. Number five, my areas view, dividing all the tasks by area. Again, this is Kanban. And finally, number six, you have my bill tracker. Now notice that I can monitor all my bills on a simple dashboard by tracking by month. Separately, I have another database, which is my habit tracker, along with a monthly summary. This is another database I have in the engine room. The habit tracker tracks completion percentages against the goal set. I also have a conformance bar. To use the tracker, all I have to do is to tick the habit if I've carried that out for that day. And it automatically will total it up. I can set a monthly goal and then it will track my month performance in the habit tracker summary. Over time, I can filter this to the month and I just need to see that month's habits. The summary can show it across months to show me my progress. The conformance bar shows how well I'm doing against the goal based on the number of days that have elapsed in the current month. While the progress bar shows me the progress relative to my goal. Are you using Notion for task management? Do comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys and engage with you as a community. I just wanted to remind you guys that there is a giveaway as a subscriber. Consider looking at the latest Notability video linked above. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon and stay notified of all new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.